I thought he was reaching for a gun. So I'm like, oh, shit. you know what I'm saying? That's what he's doing. It's gonna murk me or rape me or something. Yeah. And then what did you do? I shot him. Santoya Brown, she's been in prison for more than a decade now, but her case is catching fire on social media. Hashtag free Santoya Brown after being shared on Instagram by pop superstar Rihanna. And here's the background. Brown says when she was just 16, after being forced into prostitution, a 43-year-old man took her home and tried to have sex with her. Brown says in self-defense, she shot him because she, she feared for her life. And despite her age, she was tried as an adult sentenced to life in prison and won't be eligible for parole until she's 69 years old. Last access, Governor of Tennessee Bill Haslam today granted clemency to Sintoya Brown and commuted her life sentence for murdering a man when she was 16. Mark Strassman reports her case sparked intense debate over harsh sentences for minors. Your case, it begins with you, you know, being 16 and very young. And um, I was reading up, and prior to, you know, you have uh, this happening, um, I'm trying to get my words out. You had behavioral issues, right? And I work with elementary school kids every single day, and I, I noticed that the, the criminal, criminalization of black girls starts at a very young age. Um, being isolated from classrooms mm -hmm. and being suspended for very minor things and I noticed that happens and it has an um, effect on you know a, the psyche of a young woman you know growing up into that so I just want to know like what do you what was your process like or your your mindset throughout that and what do you think should be done instead of sending people out of the classroom instead of you know condemning them for the things that they do yeah, so I was actually one of those girls. So whenever it seemed like I had an attitude problem, mm -hmm. I became a problem. And it was easier for the teachers to remove me from the learning environment than to actually talk with me and try to find out what it was that I needed specifically, mm -hmm. what it was that was going on with me. And it was just convenient for me to be hid in ISS, just in school suspension. Mm -hmm. I've been in ISS um, before. Right, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Being suspended, um, even being completely expelled. I can remember being suspended for shaking a stop sign at a bus stop once. And it seemed like any little thing that I did just made them remove me. Mm -hmm. When I was expelled from school, it was for a bottle of no-dose pills, which mm -hmm. is caffeine pills mm -hmm. that I had had. Um, and it was zero tolerance. Right. So I got completely kicked out of public school and I found a community of people where they had been kicked out too and I found comfort in that. Mm -hmm. And these were individuals that had had experiences with the justice system and for those of us who hadn't, we were well on our way. Right. And it was actually six months from the time that I went to alternative school that I was actually first charged in juvenile court. Mm -hmm. um, and I can remember feeling that, you know, I was just a throwaway. And then I wasn't wanted. And it's like, why didn't it matter what I needed right. from the learning environment? Why was I not worth the effort? When my mother would come up to the school and ask what she can do when I was being suspended, all they had to tell was, you know, to take me home. They didn't refer her to no anyone. or anything like no. that. No, I mean, I personally think everybody that works with young children should be some level of a behavioral health specialist. Because mm -hmm. um, I think that that's an important component. Yes, it's great that you teach math and reading, mm -hmm. but teach coping skills, teach emotional health, teach mm -hmm. behavioral health. Yeah. So. Okay. We don't really get to hear much about like your dreams, your desires before you know everything happens. So when you were younger, what did you want to do? What did you want to be? Um, what did you I, do? Yeah, it changed all the time what I wanted to be. I mean, at one moment, I wanted to be an architect, then I wanted to be an engineer. Mm -hmm. um, as far as what I did, I was kind of a tom girl. I climbed trees and mm -hmm. and rode bikes and stuff, would just do crazy stuff. So Okay. All right. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you for your time. <laughs> Thank you.